Hello, welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing a food video and before we go into it, we are going to be unboxing this set of knives I got over three months ago. It's not a sponsored review, so I paid for the knives myself. And we're going to put it to use and I'm going to show you a very quick, simple, fire inspired butter squash coconut curry with rice noodles. So sit back, relax, don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll be right back and we'll get this review started welcome back so the knives i'm going to be unboxing today is the henkos international and is in the style uh modernist is a 14 piece uh knife block set so like I said, I got it on sales before Christmas. So the best time to buy your knives or any appliances or stuff like that is to buy it closer to Christmas. And here it shows you uh, like it's a single piece. So I like that the hand is not attached to the, it's not separate from the body. I find those ones uh, break more easily. So I'm just turning the box around so you see, uh, so this is what it looks like on the inside and there are different types of, uh, knives for different uses and here it shows you so it comes with all these knives the perry knives uh the tomato bagel knife this one will be good for bread utility knife santoku knife chef knife steak knives and then it comes with a sharpening steel so you can use this to sharpen your knives a pair of scissors and then you have the knife block with 14 slots okay so we get this, uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, I'm just gonna do it like so, so you can see. So it comes to a box like so. And then this is the block. Just gonna pull it out here. That is all, there's nothing else in the box. So it comes with one of those uh, protective stuff. And this is well wrapped. So that's what the block looks like. So this is it, it comes with 14 slots and then it has the Henkel symbol here. I'll just put this out of the way. And then to, for the knives proper now, you can see the block. Okay, so for the knives, do you see the box as well? I haven't used the Henkos uh, products before, but I have heard uh, good things about it. So I'm just going to pour it out here onto the counter. So this is the pair of scissors that it came with. Okay, and that will just go in there. And then this one looks like the, I'm just going to turn the side so I can see what the names are. Can you see the, so this is the chef knife. So as you can see, it's all in one piece. So the piece is not separated. So I like that. And it feels a little bit heavy. So that's good. I like my knives heavy. So I'm just going to put them in the slot. And then this one, so each one is packed separately like that, the cardboard. So this one is the Santoku knife. So this would be for even when you want to cut things like cake or your fruits that will go in there. Or does it? Okay. And then we're going to move on. This one is the sharpening steel. So you can use this to sharpen your knives. So when it's blunt or anything, you just go like so and go like so, and you're good to go. All right. So where does this go? That goes in there. And then we have the, the smaller piece. I think this one's are the, okay, what is this one? This one is the steak knife. Okay, those of you who love your steak. I'm just going to put it anywhere and then figure out the exact spots when I have all of them open. And this one is the chef knife. 
Okay. All right. And then we have more. So I said this was the chef knife. It's actually the utility knife. So the chef knife is this one. And then the smaller one is the utility knife. I just wanted to quickly correct that. And here we have more steak knives. I think the steak knives actually go down here because the other one doesn't pierce anything. And this one, sorry, I took off the cardboard already. So this one is the paring knife. So if you want to eat your mangoes and fruits like that, I'm just gonna put that there. So we have two more to go. So we have one more steak knife here. And then the last but not the least, oh, I like this one, is the tomatoes or bagel knife. So I said this one would be good for your bread. You can see it's really serrated and it will make cutting easy. And uh, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it tells you there are 14 slots and then there's an empty, I don't know if you can see it there. There's an empty slot here that doesn't have anything. So it's not like there's anyone missing. Can you see it like this? So there's an empty slot there. Okay. So overall, really looks gorgeous. Really looks beautiful. Okay. And then that is the knife there on the block. It's beautiful. So just keep watching. I'll be right back and then we'll get started with the food part. Thank you. Welcome back. For our butternut squash coconut curry with rice noodles, I'm going to quickly run through the ingredients, but I just want you to know, really, you can use whatever vegetables you have available to you locally or whatever your preference is. I have used what I have at hand at home right now. So I'm going to be using uh, one butternut squash. I'm going to roast this in the oven. So we'll get started with that very soon. I have one carrot here, one zucchini, one leek, and I'm going to use two cans of coconut cream. So you want to make sure you buy a uh, coconut cream, it's heavier. Or you can use fresh coconut and ex extract your own cream. For my seasoning or spices, I'm going to be using cayenne pepper. You can put cayenne pepper to taste. I'm going to use uh, black pepper, salt to taste. Over here, I have half a tablespoon of garlic paste and one tablespoon of ginger paste and that is just fresh garlic and fresh ginger you can uh you can um blend it so you can get yours if you want over here i have uh, about half or one teaspoon of turmeric powder and curry powder and here i have one tablespoon of chicken stock powder here i have one tablespoon of uh curry paste so this is the red curry paste you also have the green one as well. So that is what it looks like. And I got that from a superstore. You can also check Walmart. And here I have two tablespoons of light brown sugar. I have lemons. Lemons are optional. Leek is optional. Zucchini is optional. So I'm just adding that. Feel free to uh, tweak it as you want. Here I have one shallot. And for my herbs today, I'm going to be using parsley and cilantro. And again, use whatever herb uh, you prefer. Here I have one red onions, two bell pepper. This is optional. I'm just adding that. And here I have uh, one package of shrimp. And I have fresh uh, beef stock here, about we'll say three to four cups. And here I have my dry rice noodles. We are going to cook this uh, in a bit. So sit back. We are going to get cooking. I'm going to do a, a prep with me. So meaning as I just uh cut and prep my stuff i'll be cooking at the same time so we are going to be going back and forth back and forth we're going to start first with the butter squash i already have my oven preheating at 400 degrees fahrenheit we're going to roast it this will give it a more depth in flavor Bye. 
lot of tequila with some salt and lime. Oh my, am I alright? Thanks for asking, doing just fine. Can I say that you're looking real nice? We'll love to chat right now before I get high. When you came to my eyes, I feel like I'm on cloud nine. You bang harder than Fourth of July. I think I can go all night, yeah. The way you bite your lips, blush and smile you give. You're just so stunning. I know that something special made me think about you About you, 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 about you, you, you,
coconut curry it's ready it really smells amazing and for the rice noodles you can put your soup separate and put some of the noodles in that is what i've done with this one or if you're going to be serving it immediately you can dump all the noodles into the soup thank you so much for joining me overall i love the henko's knife it's really sharp. It fits. Uh, the steel feels good, or the whatever it material is made of. Uh, so you'll be seeing more of it on my channel. Until next time, when I bring you another episode, have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.